Welcome to uh, a quick Maven uh, demo of uh, making channels. A channel is um, uh, like a screen that you might see in a piece of software, a web page, uh, a mode in a video game, a different uh, setting, menu, or a place. So this is our what we would call a blank screen, even though, yes, it has a rectangle and a gear. That's because every time I make changes, this sort of keeps a default for me, lets me uh, clone things much faster than just always having a blank screen. Um, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is sort of uh, move this little rectangle over uh, just to show you that it's editable and I'm going to pick the little um, gear in the center and sort of resize it a little bit just to show you that we've, you know, we've got control over these things and I will um, clone it. I'll make a copy of it and uh, I'll select that copy and sort of do the same type of thing. Let me um, alter it and let's let's change the art for it as we've done before. Um, one of the things in these menus over here is add a new world, a whole new piece of software, um, but one of them is add a new channel, a new section. So I'm going to click on that once, uh, twice even, just so we've got three new channels to work with. Um, this app is built on top of the Illuminate, so I've got some Illuminate channels already in here. Um, it just helps me build whatever new apps I'm working with. So if we built 20 new apps, we may choose to keep the data from all of them in here if we want to cut and paste any of those behaviors. But let's go ahead and uh, alter the look for this. So I'm going to pick the picture over here. and. Um, these are some images that we, we had to start with uh, from before. Um, and I'm going to pick uh, the, the wand over here. Um, and uh, actually, let me, let me edit. So I'm going to close this out. These allow me to keep editable menus around if I want to make rapid changes to them. So if I change this particular uh, element and I want it to um, look like the, the home button, um, and let me close that out and let's 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 alter the behavior for that button so it starts with the ability to let's say uh the meaning let's look at the meaning so here's the verb change the channel all right and here's a noun uh what channel are we going to it happens to be uh you know subject but remember how we just added we're on new channel and we just added two new ones here they are so let's uh let's pick channel two we'll go there first and uh, we'll close this out Let's uh, first see, um, you know, does does that um, do the thing that we we want it to do? Does it does it bring us there now? It does. Here's a here's a new blank channel. Well, how do we know? Maybe there's some trickery or something else going on. Let's, uh, you know, let me clone this guy just like we did before, and um, and you know, why don't we? Um, I'm gonna make this menu. I'm gonna select this other guy too. Um, and I'm going to move them over a little and I'm going to take this whole box and move it. Now I'm going to make it vertical, right? That's There's no big excitement in that except um, uh, it'll be very visually obvious that uh, this is channel 2. Let's change the art for this guy um, and uh, let's pick the company logo. How's that? And. So now, actually, let's look at the behavior here. Um, let's look at the noun and the verb. So this this verb has email a message or text message or all, you know a bunch of behaviors that are already packaged with another set of nouns and verbs. We'll look at those later. Those are multiple sentences, compound sentences, but we're just working with single sentences now. Actually, let's just leave it at the email. Let's just see if we've changed that uh, behavior. Does that pop up um, an email? And oops, um, that it does. Let's actually close that out. That's sort of the message without uh, a default message you might have picked. Um, hope that popped up in the video, right? I changed my my uh, screen here, but definitely works. Um, let me uh, look at other uh, items. You know, SMS is that uh, useful? Let's change it and and see. So I'll close this out. And close this out. Um, let's test it. And there's a little SMS sending a little image. Uh, I'm just going to cancel it out. But you can see that we can alter what it's doing, and we can alter the um, uh, the nouns 
and the adjectives. We'll, we'll look at all these uh, <laughs> given time here. Um, let's change the uh, the art for this gear again, so that it's so that it's clear to us where we are. Let's make it. Um, uh, I'm only working with the art we have for illuminate, so um, why don't we pick the uh, ingredient uh, element or the uh, pure gray? Or actually, I guess this is a little more distinctive. All right, let's close that and um, let's look at what it does. Let's open up its meaning. Uh, verb is change channel. Let's see what other verbs could we pick. We set the channel tool. Uh, let's leave that for the moment and change the noun. We just changed the couple verbs a second ago. Um, and uh, let's pick um, that first new channel we started with, the very first one. So let's see that that happens. Does this bring us to the first channel? Ah, it does. And does this guy bring us back to that channel? Ah, it does. Um, and I can continue to start uh, iterating and expanding all sorts of pieces. That's how we built the Illuminate app. And we can do it in right now in about two hours. And if I make some good changes, just eliminate some clutter and some wonky things, because this is still a bit of alpha. Maven is definitely alpha, but it's proof. It may be alpha, but it's definitely proof. Um, while the tech isn't quite mature, it does scale. We can build a relatively rich app. We can change to every behavior we have that exists. Um, and we can um, look at everything just as nouns and verbs. Uh, even if I pick a um, little uh, lego -y dude here, I love them as examples because they are really um, uh, you know, easily memorable and make a point. Um, one of the other parts that I, I do want to uh, indicate is if we look at this particular um, Lego person, um, I can take something like, I, I choose head size because it's, it's sort of easy to work with. All right, so let me just move this over here. We've got that little person. Um, and if I take this, this idea of head size and I clone it, I can move it out over here and I can go um, clone this, the, uh, the the meter for it as well, and, and slide it over here. Um, and I've just added a piece of interface that lets me change this. Maybe it's not part of the app, maybe it is. Maybe the app is like a video game and I wanna be doing this live, or maybe I just want it when I'm editing and developing this. Because delivering things on time with the least amount of risk to ask the more interesting questions of what if I can change that is important. So I have this here. I can alter this uh, item, and if I uh, if I clone that guy, that little person, um, and drag him up here, and maybe I maybe I change uh, that person. Maybe I I look at their um, content and I pick uh, a very different um, look. Maybe I, I pick a different a different box of data that can just confirm like yes different thing totally different thing and I can change head size over here oh and um, it's because I replaced the one that I was uh, just choosing a moment ago um, in any case popping back let's look at the behavior for this it's defaults to uh, well let's let's pull it up um, looks like it defaults to uh, refresh print changes. Well, um, what are what's in this particular box? We can change the box of existing behaviors for this guy or look at some of them. Speech balloon, that sounds useful. Maybe I want to add some comments. So let me um, drop out, let me close that up. Let's see if that's what it does. So I, uh, oh, and I know that actually speech balloons, their behavior is to um, uh, slide to the right of something. Okay, let's see. Did that to say add speech balloon? Yes. All right. There we go. Um, it, currently, the little speech balloon, which we might want to add to annotate on something, um, starts with the information that this had. Start port, and this is like locations to get files. It's just what I had picked at the moment. Um, you know, and, and not terribly relevant. Uh, but we could add whatever we want for text. So maybe I want to leave. Uh, a little note to myself. I just made that the behavior for that button. Um, so many things can happen. Um, hopefully I'm giving you a good sense of how quick it is to access lots of rich data to go in and see the the nouns and verbs um, 
that happened to them. And in the next demonstration, uh, I'll show multiple nouns and multiple verbs for a single interface, whether it's something you see and can edit, or maybe it's behind the scenes.